Hello guys, uh, today I'm very excited because I've just got the FXT Viper goggles which I was uh, really looking forward to get. Uh, these goggles are goggles designed for people like me that wear glasses and get uh, really bad eye strain for regular uh, box goggles. So uh, hopefully these are going to be good. Uh, so let's check out what's inside. They come with this in this really nice hard case uh, which is a uh, uh, really really good very rigid so let's open it up and let's see the goggles okay okay so this is what's in the package except something that's here that I will show you in a second so you get uh, these are the goggles and I'm gonna show it to you in a second um, you get these are the accessories you get uh, this is a video cable two linear antennas uh, the power cable and an adapter to use a uh, xt60 connector all right let's get this out of the way now one more thing that obviously you get is the screen and the reason why I, it wasn't in the box is because, I, as you can see, I already put uh, these antennas. Um, I'm not going to use the linear one that comes with it. I'm going to put the link in the description for these antennas. Um, so, this is the screen. Uh, the screen, uh, I think you can, can be purchased separately, I'm not sure. Uh, the great thing about these goggles is that, obviously, you can use the screen as it is or inside the goggles uh, themselves. So the way this works is that you open here this pocket, you put the screen here and secure it and now you have your goggles uh, ready to go. Um, now these goggles they they are big, they are, they are big goggles uh, and I understand that this might be something that uh, can turn off uh, a lot of people they don't some people doesn't want to be seen in public wearing massive goggles personally I don't care I just care more about not having high eye strain uh, and having something that uh, works well so uh, if you like me you don't care about your appearance when you fly FPV and you wear glasses these are the probably the best uh, box goggle you can buy so the way it works, um, there's a mirror inside, there's a uh, si mirror system inside that will reflect the image back here to, uh, to your face. Um, this is the part that goes to your face. This is really nice. It's, uh, it's rubber, but it's very soft and it will basically perfectly adapt to your face uh, the nose space it's very nice they're very very comfortable to wear uh, mind you that you have to put take your time the first time you put them on take your time to adjust the straps because these are essential uh, to a perfect comfort uh, by default I think this is tight up to here and if you try to put them on like that it's it's, it's not very comfortable so take your time to adjust these and in here you see you can put uh, the battery I'm going to be using this 2000 2.2 uh, amps uh, battery I'm just gonna uh, put it in here on the back uh, these goggles accept uh, from 2 to 6s uh, from 7 to 28 volts so you can plug pretty much whatever you want. This part here, the part that uh, goes to your face, can come off. This uh, this section here, I'm not gonna take it off right now, but it comes off fairly easy. So in case you need, uh, for whatever reason, uh, you can take this off. And uh, what else? This this is very nice, uh, thick foam. Um, well, it's it's cloth. 
uh, inside there is some foam padding it's very very nice and soft uh, this will as absorb your sweat it doesn't have any fan uh, but hopefully you won't need one um, let's find out so let's put this aside so the screen is uh, it's very large and I'm going to show you now I'm going to turn it off but um, you can see here there is a joystick which is a multifunction joystick and there is also a button here uh, you have the memory card slot here these are the I think it's either the microphone or the video output input and you have a HDMI port here and here is where it's powered it does come with a, a manual and the manual is fairly well done however um, it would explain all the functionality how to use DVR this channel selection and whatnot however there's something that needs to be said that got me uh, quite confused honestly and when I got my when I when I plugged in my monitor I thought it was broken uh, I was following the instruction and the monitor didn't turn on I thought it was broken and I tell you what that was so let me let me plug in this thing so I'm gonna just plug this into a uh, to the wall socket into a 12 volt uh, adapter and then use the included cable so I'm not gonna waste any battery now uh, why did I think it was not working well the manual says to power to power on you need to push down for uh, to, to do a long press down uh, so what I thought is that so you, you're holding it like this and so I'm gonna have to press it down like the manual said but if you press this down nothing happens and it doesn't turn on and I was like okay what's going on here so it turns out that down actually means this way not this down like this so you have to push inward like to, if you if you're wearing it and this is in front of you down is not here but it's toward you so you push down and it turns up and the screen is extremely bright the screen is very very bright and um uh I'm gonna quickly walk you through the various uh, functionalities, but it's not gonna be a super in-depth uh, video about the screen, but uh, just to show you the basic functionality. So I have a, pl a micro plugged in, and I'm gonna show you, there are uh, three ways that you can select your channel. So the first way is if you push, if you hold this time this down, the button if you hold it down for a couple of seconds it will do an auto search so uh, let's do that and you can see it says auto search it's going through all the channels uh, the search is very quick and should take there you go and here is the uh, uh, the channel it says a4 uh, it also says up here it says a4 5.805 uh, G. So um, this is one way you can uh, search a channel. The other way is if you push, if you click this way, it will bring up this menu and you can uh, manually select uh, which channel do you want to be, which band and which channel do you want to be. So let's say that you are on B5733 you select this and then to confirm you have to push in this joystick um, in this case obviously if I do that let's say that I go to let's say I go here if I push here obviously it will select this channel obviously I have nothing plugged there um, so let me go back to my channel which is this one and here it is the third way uh, is to use the presets so um, to access the presets 
you have to uh, these are the presets you have to hold you have to be in FPV mode so in this mode here and you have to hold on this side this side here you hold press there and this menu will appear when you can uh, so basically you can record up to eight uh, custom uh, channels so uh, that's a pretty neat feature if you have various uh, thing my my micro is probably starting to uh, overheating is plugged in since quite a while now for recording you have to use this button here up here what you do you just press once and you can see there's a there's a in red it says rec it's blinking and so now it's recording if I do hello like that and then I push again it will stop the recording now to access your DVR uh, there are two ways you can either push up so pushing up this joystick will change the input so it would go from uh, FPV mode to DVR and if I push up once more it's gonna go to uh, HD in so let's go back here or another way is to hold the press the rec the recording button if I if I hold it it will also go to uh, DVR mode and it shows up the video to play the video you just have to push once here the recording button and it will play play back the video that we just recorded um, so that's pretty neat there you go it's playing back the video and that's about it to scroll the video uh, you just use the joystick left and right and you can switch between your videos I only have two at the moment and if you want to delete and format you have to push inside once and it will bring back this menu here now it's a little bit confusing because there are only two lines and you don't really know which one are you on the green line is the one where you're on so and also another confusing thing uh, to move up and down you have to use left and right joystick I know this is confusing but uh, as you can see if I go left and right is going up and down um, and then to confirm uh, I believe is the uh, this joystick here um, it's not the greatest uh, DVR menu but uh, it, it's gonna probably take a little bit to get used to but uh, that's what we get now uh, it's important to notice that um, the DVR currently will record only up to three minutes of footage and then it will split the video and I believe there is like one or two seconds gap between the split of the file so if you can f if you fly for more than three minutes your flight your recording video will be split that's a that's a pretty annoying feature I hope that they will fix this with a firmware update because that for me is the uh, is the biggest negative of this uh, set here so I would say let's go outside and fly and see how it performs and how it records so here you can see how the goggles looks on my face they are quite big but they are very light and very comfortable there is basically almost no light leaking and the screen is very bright anyway so okay let's uh, let's see how they perform alright so I'm going to use my snapper 6 as test and I'm just gonna fly in a straight line and see how far I can go before I start getting some serious breakup and make the fly basically uh, unsafe so keep in mind that with my previous box goggles um, I had a very limited range actually I think from where I start previously I could barely reach this street here and then I, it was already pretty much impossible to continue uh, here I do have a few breakups but uh, uh, I can still see pretty well keep in mind that as you can see on top uh, there are plenty of power lines and whatnot those are 
definitely going to interfere with the signal. And uh, here I am about 190 meters from where I start, which is pretty amazing compared to uh, what I'm used to. So now flying back, I have pretty much perfect view, no breakups whatsoever. As you can see, I'm pretty far away. Yeah, you can probably, okay, there I am standing at the end of the street. So I'm gonna do one more uh, try. I'm gonna go back and see if I can actually reach the end of the street. This is pretty incredible for me um, compared to what I'm used to. Uh, one thing to notice is that this video, um, this uh, goggles, they record in four by three. So I had to stretch a little bit the video um, and scale it up a little bit uh, to make it a little bit more visible. Uh, that's something to keep in consideration. But the quality is pretty good. And as you can see, I'm flying again towards the end of the street. And let's see if I can reach it. Still few breakups, but basically I reached the end of the street. That's 200 meters away from where I'm standing. Uh, pretty incredible distance for me. Uh, and these are not even the best conditions. I'm pretty sure that uh, without power lines, uh, I can go much further than that. So uh, absolutely fantastic reception. Very, very happy on how these goggles are performing. So yeah, this was the uh, distance test. The first one I've done, but I will definitely try them more uh, and see how they perform. But they are very, very good so far. All right, so there you have it. This was my review of the FXT Viper goggles. Uh, from what I can see from my previous test, uh, they fl they performed really, really well. Uh, really nice uh, receiver in here in the screen. Uh, I could get a lot of distance, way more than I could do before with my previous box goggles. Uh, the uh, the quality, the build quality is very nice. They feel robust, but they're light. They're very, very comfortable. And if you're like me, uh, you need to wear glasses and you don't really care about being seen in public with something that is fairly big. It almost looks as big as a PlayStation VR headset, to be honest. But if you don't care about that, these are definitely the goggles for you. Uh, the screen is super bright. Uh, everything is very, very nice. The only negative thing is the three minutes limitation of the DVR. I, I really hope that FXT will fix it with a firmware update, but um, everything else is really great. Uh, I believe the price currently is about 100, and it's less than 160 bucks, so definitely a nice price. So go and get yourself a pair. Even, even if you want to use these as second uh, goggles for a friend or but not or even just use it sometimes with the screen this is a great purchase and so I'm very happy with it I will testing this further but for now I am quite satisfied so thank you for watching and I see you next time